everyone, one about here, and welcome to Hive Corp. It is a fairly promising looking bullet heaven uh, that uh, it's not available yet. Ooh, bouncing projectile towards the nearest target. That's tempting. Let's grab it. Uh, so, Hive Corp is available as a demo. Just randomly saw it go by, and I'm like, oh, yeah, this actually looks kind of charming. Let's give it a shot. Uh, so, pretty standard right off the bat. You have what? Five weapon slots, five passive slots. And then you have a, you do have an alternate, uh, ultimate ability, which I think is kind of neat. Uh, but at some point we're going to start getting objectives to pop up. And those objectives will be like, you know, bring this thing here or open this chest up. And, uh, they're pretty basic, but it adds like a level of like, hey, I actually want to interact with these things. Taking damage increases armor. Eh. Let's go for the faster, re uh, faster cooldowns. Firing faster seems really worthwhile in this game. Okay, then I should be very careful not to run into enemies, because uh, the more I'm killing and the faster I'm killing, the, uh, I, I think I get more EXP for it. And so that's something I'm going to have to keep an eye on. I want to get this container open. But I'm not confident in my ability to do so. Okay, we need these... We need these containers. Because that's how we get our meta progression currency. Uh, let's see. I could also re-roll. Oh, no, we can skip, which gets me a currency. I'm going to... Skip it for a second. Overload plus 10%. Yeah, overload is our ult. Okay, but all things considered, I think I'm going to just head over here. I'd like to open up that box and get some more meta currency, but... Uh, we need to kill enemies faster, and this is how you do it. So like I said, this game has kind of a neat uh, neat system where you actually have things that you can do on the map. Most of them just give you like defensive turrets and whatnot. But by completing them, you also get the... I have no idea what I picked up there, actually. Oh well, doesn't matter. But by completing them, you get like defensive structures or a boost or an item or something like that. So in this case, I think I'm leveling faster. Spectral copies that bounces between enemies while slowing them down. Tempting. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Bouncing between enemies seems kind of worthwhile. Their damage isn't very good. But maybe that's okay. Yeah, I think we're getting times three EXP. Random projectiles at foes while dashing, though. I'm not dashing much. Like, I dash some. But not super aggressively here. And yeah, we... I, I think we're getting five times as much EXP here as we were at the start. And this will go away... Uh, that multiplier goes away if I stop killing enemies or if I get hit. Actually, the multiplier seems to have just disappeared on me, so I don't know what to think in that regard. I also desperately need some more pickup radius. If I see an upgrade for that, I'm going for it. Yeah, I must have just not killed an enemy for a while. Oh well. Even Pretzel Rocks has got some odd music today. Oh, let's see, heals health, pickup radius. Yeah, that's gonna be nice. Pretty low on the pickup radius. Radii, uh, but it's fine. They're right on top of it. My overload is nowhere close to charged. And there's the boss. Okay, I think it's just a machine gun, but either way, that's some that's some big damage. Let's pop this open real quick. An EXP rate boost, at least for a little while. I don't know what those drills are. They're these like drill enemies that are just moving around. Uh, let's see. Grab the shoulder gun. Did this thing already blow up and stop. I was hoping it would help me more. That's fine. 
Okay, Spectre's up to rank 3. I'm assuming that just does more damage. Unfortunately, my Spectres get, seem to get confused often, which is amusing. Okay, Laser Fence, Gun Drone. Probably just gonna go for the Gun Drone. I don't know how good it is. Oof. Almost bonked the tree. Well, I think we need to head for our next turret rather than anything else. Or... Oop. Well, that did the trick. Okay, so we've got to get over here. Uh, reflex gloves and... Uh... Okay, did we just get all of them? Cool. I guess we did. Plus, we get a charge crystal for killing the boss. Well, let's just get the... Uh the drone. That was effective. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I think I'm stuck here for the moment. I don't know if I can kill these things. I can't. Yep. I guess the answer is just get out of there. It ain't worth it. Whatever that laser fence is, is going to be deadly. Looks like it's just a bunch of resources. Oh. I'm definitely feeling kind of underpowered here. Which is something I would like to work on, but I'm not quite sure how I'm going to manage that. Okay, shoulder gun is rank 6. That's a lot of damage. I'm going to keep going for the reflex glove, though. And keep going for these. I'm I'm kinda getting there. It's still gonna take a little bit of work. Uh, did I kill it? Oh, that mining machine is not as rewarding as I thought it would be. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, gun drone rank three, I'll take it. Let's just scoot in here. Oh, I got confused. Oh, I didn't know you could get confused in this game. I'm supposed to be here for 15 waves. Okay, that kind of helps. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna keep leveling those specters. Whoop. I'm probably just gonna die here, is the real answer. Nope. Managed to survive somehow. Okay. We're just trying to get back down. Out of the horde. As soon as you start getting surrounded, it's, uh, it's bad deals. The one thing I will say about this is I wish the upgrades were a little bit more interesting. Just getting plus damage every time is kind of unsatisfying. But, uh, boss? It is a boss. Not only is it a boss, it's a boss with actual attack patterns that I need to care about. Well, get some magnetic plating. Okay, plasma cutter, pickup range, gun drop. I'm just gonna go for the pickup range more than anything else. Experience rate up. Killed the elite. Gets me a bit of regen. Uh, I was hoping I'd push the gap, but whatever. Shoulder gun rank 7, and Viscerator is a new upgrade. Cool. I was expecting that I'd have to nuke the boss, but I guess we didn't have to. 
Looks like we've got another one of these. I kind of wish these turrets would actually just stay running, but maybe we're a little weaker. Because it'd be kind of interesting if you were, like, constantly building up defenses in your immediate vicinity. Okay, extra damage, EXP rate, or laser fence. We're gonna go for the laser... Oh, that's what the laser fence does. That's... Okay, so the laser fence is, like, a thousand times better than I thought it was going to be, as it's slowing down all enemies that come in the area. It doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I'll grant that, but... Doesn't matter. And laser fence is probably absurdly good... I'm just gonna let that go. Stay away. Oh, these things ain't dead. Uh, let's see. Do we want more damage? Or do we want to keep pushing that shoulder gun? I'm gonna just max out the shoulder gun. Oh, these clunking mechs are... Just that. I thought that was a uh, mid-boss. EXP. Lost. I do really like the, uh, the 3D models for the units. I believe the developer made all of these themselves. Uh, so the reason why I'd even seen this game was specifically there is, uh, they posted on Reddit talking about how they started teaching themselves, uh, 3D modeling right before COVID. And so I think that's all of these dudes. Which I think is actually kind of neat. Dashing reloads all weapons and makes your primary weapon fire faster for a short duration. Yeah, let's, uh, let's snag that. Oh, there it is. Go over here. Ah, uh, that's a bunch of stuff. Quick reload. Yeah, some of those, uh, some of those loot things are great. It definitely feels like, it definitely feels like I could use some more AoE here, but... Boy, I owe a lot of s safety and stability to this dang laser fence. Okay, plasma cutter, nah. It kind of feels like the plasma cutter and the, um... Laser fence are almost mutually exclusive. And you can only get one or the other. Right. Some more EXP rate. Be nice. I was really hoping those the extra pickup radius would be better. It's kind of weak. I was, I was really hoping I would pick things up outside of my general laser fence vicinity, considering I've maxed it out, and it seems to be pitifully low. Oh, there it is. Looking over here. Looks like it gave me a safety shield. And some more guns, and a monarch is trying to hunt me down. Oop. I think I'm gonna take damage from this. Avoided that damage. Oh, I see. I have to, like, knock these into him to make him vulnerable. Unfortunately, my movement speed could seriously use some work here. On the flip side, it seems like he's also the only remaining enemy at this point, so I kind of should be able to just shred him, as long as I don't take too much damage here. I guess look at the hipfire rockets, not that they're particularly good. But I don't hate him either. Yeah, I'm actually pretty powerful as long as I'm focus, focus firing on one target. There we go. Monarch is dead. Is he? I was wondering about that. I 
avoid those. This is, like, actually kind of a nicely designed boss. I guess that pickup radius is okay. I was just hoping it'd be much higher considering how much EXP is just being was just left behind over the course of this run. Well, we'll see. Maybe there's more interesting meta progression that I get my hands on over the course of this. Because we definitely eh, we could definitely do better. I don't know. I mean it said eight plus, so maybe it's fine. So if I check these, not included in the demo, yeah, so there's a lot of stuff. That I could unlock, but I can't at the moment. Which is a bit of a shame. We also have a bunch of equipment that I could grab. Seeker drones. Portable sentries. Warp blades. Oh, but these are expensive. Rockets increase the movement speed. Range of all projectiles that uses some form of range and radius. Amount of minerals you gain from pickups and quests. Chance for positive events. Uh... Deviation detector sounds actually kind of fun. So why don't we grab... Whoo, those are loud. I turned the sound effects down, but I guess uh, that's that sound effecting on the uh, slider. Let me just turn it down then. Well, do we want to go for one more run? I think we... Yeah, I think we do. I'm wondering if these are actually just max rank for now. I guess I'll do damage for now and cooldowns. Uh, yeah, let's go go for the Amplify. So let's do, do another one. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can do anything else for the moment. And, yeah, everything else is locked on the demo. So yeah, why don't, we, why don't we try different weapons? I think my big thing I would say is... Oh. Uh, let's grab Quick Reload. These are some big starting EXP boosters. How did I not realize that that's what these were? Uh, shoots projectiles at random targets while dashing is... Kind of tempting, actually. If I can get my dash cooldown to be even lower, because uh, we can potentially do a multitude of dash-related upgrades. I'm going to assume that leveling up quick reload either... Either reduces the cooldown? No, it probably doesn't reduce the cooldown, so it probably just increases my fire rate afterwards for some length of time. But one way or another. Seems kind of fun. I wish, uh... I do wish that there were meaningful choices every couple of levels for equipment. Just just something. Something to give me a little bit more agency when it comes to picking my build. Uh, beyond just picking what weapons I'm using. Not, not to say that, like, just picking what weapons you're using is boring, but... It's... Mm, it's not exciting, I guess. Okay, this is just going to give me the shield generator. I don't care about that one too much, but I'll do it anyway because it also gets me a bunch of materials and it gets me one of these. But then otherwise, that shield ain't going to do anything. So I definitely want to get the laser fence this time around. See if I can spec into that harder because it seems like it might scale faster. Uh, Just do slingshot. This is supposed to be the Chiptunes channel. I'm not sure how much I actually believe that this is, in fact, chiptunes. It'll probably come in at some point, but... Isn't this, like, where we just were? I think it was. That's amusing. Okay, grab it. The problem is, weapon-wise, I'm not sitting on a whole lot of variety here. Oh, there's the laser fence. Yeah, part of the reason why uh, I was thinking the laser fence would be incredibly good early on is these basic enemies are very weak. And so I figured I could probably use the laser laser fence to just absolutely shred like all of the basic to- ow. Absolutely shred a lot of the basic dudes. Okay. 
And those explodey boys still explode if they die. A little unfortunate. Just another shield generator. It's fine. Give me the goods. Oh, that's a that's a good one. Quick quick reload. Wait, quick reload level four. Oh, I see. Did that put it over the uh, the upper limit then? It might have. Okay, one way or another, it feels like the laser fence is doing even more damage. I guess it is split based on targets, too. Well, I'm just gonna go up here. Ooh, that's some damage. It's more shield generators. Honestly, though, I'm starting to respect the shield generator. Because I can just park my butt right here. And just toast whatever. Yeah, good old Stompy might not be hurt too hurt by this, but everything else will be now. It's like a weird plasma mech wandering around there. Extra EXP rate. Actually, it's um whatever that thing is is very durable. Snag that. I'm just gonna keep focusing on laser fence for now. Laser fence rank five. Okay. I'm gonna die. Let's grab the viscerator. Ooh. That is a combination. Got the elite kill. Got everything else. Stay away from the bombs. Okay. So laser fence rank six and slingshot. Or sting shots. Whatever it is. I don't think I like the on dash power up that much. I think it's kind of okay. Part of it is I I don't dash that often. This ain't uh, this ain't void scrappers, where you can dash near constantly. Uh, let's see, bio enhancement protocol. I should probably get some healing at some point, considering like two more, two more hits and I'm toast. But I know for a fact there's a regen. There are ways to heal. I just have to do it. Uh, fine. I'll grab it. Unfortunately, it seems like a one-off kind of deal. Which isn't particularly amazing. Maybe it triggers more often. I don't know. Give me that. Move over here. There's the regen. Uh, if I can get to it. Alright. And yeah, it does seem like there's kind of some hefty exponential growth. To some of these power-ups. Go here. Uh oh. Stay away from the exploding meatballs. And back to the mines. I'd like to get those, uh. The spinning blades to do a bit more damage. 
But that hasn't been the most forthcoming. I'm trying my best. It's uh, not working that great. I think uh, we don't have quite the oomph. Wait, that was an elite? I suppose there was, in fact, an elite in that mix. I'm also curious about my gun, because it seems to be level 3. Okay, so it didn't kill him. But it did mess him up. Okay, we've got the Dire Sentinel. But, yeah, I'm just gonna keep working on this. I should probably go for the... Eh, the cooldown isn't as good as I thought it would be. Is this the end? No. I didn't think it would be. Okay, so now we've got the Viscerator, level 7. And what I'm hoping is the, uh, the Fence plus the Viscerator become kind of this, like, hyper-deadly combo that just rinse anything in my immediate vicinity. Unfortunately, I think it needs that little bit of cooldown to really be that good. Is this song? Oh, it's the Big Giant Circles Imposter Nostalgia. Go figure. Ow. Every once in a while there's an enemy that gets through and it's like, no, not you. So it looks like every Viscerator level just gets me a, um... Oh boy. Every Viscerator level gives me a new spinny and more damage. Which is really good? That's really good. Okay, stay away from that for a hot second. going. Yeah, his damage still needs a little bit of work. But it's fine. Okay. Fire Enhancement Protocol. Oh! Gives me more HP, too. I'm embarrassed to not have noticed that. That's actually kind of useful. Okay, let's keep scooting through. And I, yeah, I'm just gonna keep leveling up the Viscerator. Oh, did it, did it cap out? It might have. All right, we have Rampage. I guess I should be dashing like way more often. We got this speed reloader, but I uh, haven't really been using it as much as I ought to have. Because, yeah, that's that's an easy way for us to have 100% uptime on the, um, on the Viscerators. And it does a decent chunk of damage. Enhancement protocol is maxed. It was maxed pretty much everything. I noticed my my main weapon is leveling here. I wonder if the runs are supposed to get longer later. And that's how it reaches max level. Because currently I'm not seeing anything that would scale it that much. There's one of the purple guys in there. Shoulder gun. Uh, let's see. Don't want to sell the roll. I guess I'll grab the shoulder gun.
Oh, so those purple guys are just elites. Okay. Logic is... Drop, drop that on his face. It ain't gonna kill him, but it's gonna hurt him. Okay, let's get some more shoulder gun. Thought that is particularly amazing. Okay, hit him with that. Well, the one thing we can do at the moment is actually just kind of hang out back here. There's the drills, but I don't know what the drills are good for. They seem to kind of be everywhere. Yeah, so what I should probably do is just run circles around this guy. And then just dodge on the regular. Man, I thought this run was sunk. But uh, we're holding our own. We're in fact doing a lot of damage here. I think I dodged it. And that's the one reason why the whole... Uh, using dodge attacks is a little rough, because sometimes you need those dodge attacks. I guess I took one damage from that. Oh well. He's pretty much cooked. I don't... I feel like the fence damage isn't... isn't proccing correctly sometimes. But maybe it's just a me thing. I don't know. One way or another. This one's... Nope. Oh, I forgot. He's got a bonus phase. Fake out death. This is not chip tunes. I guess that doesn't do that much damage. I will have to complain to management. Give me a second. Let me just... Hopefully disliking some of those tracks gets rid of them. It's fine. I've just, uh, I've noticed the radio station that I use has, uh, degraded at least slightly over the years. I think mostly just due to saturation. There's too many m mischaracterized games getting thrown into the mix. Or games? Music? I don't know. One way or another. Solid run. Solid, solid bullet heaven. Horde survival. Whatever you want to call it. I'm looking forward to playing more of this one. I definitely need some more time in the oven. Uh, but luckily... They didn't put it to release, so it doesn't really matter. You get the portable sentry, I guess. Uh, I like the different weapons and modifiers to go with. I think mostly I just wish that they gave you a um, a choice every couple of levels. So I'm like, do you want more projectiles? Do you want more damage? Do you want bounce? Or uh, if instead of getting, you know, whenever you whenever you completed one of those objectives and it pops out the. Uh, treasure chest crystal effectively. I wish that instead, instead of giving you levels for the equipment you already have, I wish that instead gave you random modifiers uh, to one of like three different weapons that you have. Uh, so instead of it being on a per level basis, it's on a, you know, just per completed objective basis. I guess I might as well grab lockpicking just because. Um, oh, equipment rolls, lockpicking, craftsmanship, increases equipment quality. Equipment deteriorates slower in modes where equipment deteriorates. What? Ban equipment from being rolled during a mission. Okay, some of these are interesting, but I, I will definitely go back to... I would love to see just, like, random modifiers popped onto things. Like, at the laser fence. Uh, what if there was one that specifically switched it from being a fence around you into being, like, a star pattern with more range that's rotating around you slowly? Um, and that that even has, like, a synergy with the the... Uh, whatever the blades are called. The viscerators. Uh, and, like, if the viscerators were at the end of those. Or, if it was uh, another one where it was, like, specifically if the viscerator got the laser fence around it. Uh, 
or like plasma cutter plus viscerator would actually have the plasma cutters come off the viscerator or plasma cutter plus laser fence makes it so the plasma cutter uh, blades are poking out of the laser fence because currently plasma cutter is pretty useless to my knowledge with when you're using the laser fence just because it's too short range I don't know there's a lot of ideas here I just want to see it pushed further because as it stands it's a fairly competent if generic bullet heaven and I think with a little bit more time in the oven and some fun little extra things to discover and play around with and like really figure out like yeah I really like the uh quick reload plus the hip fire cluster rockets uh because that somehow has some bonus synergy that does cool things or the rocket boots you know if the rocket boost plus quick reload plus lazuka under barrel you just like gout rockets behind you as you dash forward I think that would be a cool way of doing it I don't know I, I think there's a lot of ways that it could be done and I hope I hope we get some of that for now though uh, if you guys like this video in any way shape or form leave me a like helps more than you know and if you want to see more rad new games every single day then hit subscribe because I got tons to check out and show off but for now thanks for watching I'll see you next time